Jonathan Burke. He's the Vice President of Global Market Development for Westport Innovations. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Howard, for your introduction, and, uh, and thanks to the ATA and Transport Topics for this very timely event. I, uh, I think this is one of the first events possibly the ATA has put on where uh, tickets were being auctioned on eBay and StubHub for people who are trying to get hotel rooms and attendance at the event. Uh, just a little bit about Westport. Jim spoke about us briefly, but we uh, were a technology supplier principally. We've invested uh, nearly $350 million in natural gas engines technology since the mid-90s, and uh, which has culminated in a portfolio of products that range anywhere from a small CNG or LPG forklift in a warehouse all the way up to, uh, to locomotives, ships, mine haul trucks that we're doing in partnership with Caterpillar. Our business model uh, from the outset has been uh, not to reinvent the wheel. There's, there's very, very capable OEMs and engine manufacturers all over the world. It's uh, instead to work very closely with them to provide natural gas engine technologies that can enable them to quickly launch uh, highly efficient and, and well-designed natural gas versions of their existing product portfolios. So we've done that with uh, Wei Chai in China, China's largest diesel engine manufacturer, Cummins, of course, since 2001, our longest standing joint venture. Uh, Westport Heavy Duties worked very closely with PACAR uh, in launching both Peterbilt and Kenworth products, and, and as I mentioned, Caterpillar and others, and we're working very closely with Volvo as well on a global product platform. So Jim spoke about Spark Ignited and the benefits of the Spark Ignited product, that, that benefit of the uh, very simple passive three-way catalyst, which is uh, a real breath of fresh air, uh, so to speak, uh, for those who have been dealing with diesel particulate filters and, and uh, SCR after treatment. Um, our technology that I'm going to talk about and emphasize today is high pressure direct injection. And the difference between high pressure direct injection and spark ignition is we use a small amount of diesel fuel to initiate that ignition that the spark plug in, uh, in Cummins Westport engine initiates. And we use the same high compression ratio and thereby high efficiency combustion that a diesel engine uses. So what we've done is we've adapted this in, in commercial terms to a 15 liter Cummins ISX. And I'm not going to ask you to, to read through these eye tests here or anything, but uh, this next slide uh, outlines what some of the benefits and challenges of our, are of this. But the, the simplicity of our system is that we just replace the, in, in the engine internals, the six fuel injectors with fuel injectors that inject both a small amount of diesel at the end of the uh, compression stroke and then the bulk of natural gas into the cylinder directly into the cylinder at high pressure thereby allowing the engine to produce exactly the same amount of horsepower and torque, same horsepower and torque curves, but also very similar efficiency to the underlying diesel engine. What that does, however, is require us to use similar after-treatment to the diesel engine that, we are, uh, that we're putting our equipment on. So uh, just a little bit more about the 15-liter product. This product is based on the Cummins ISX, a proven platform with, the, with millions and tens of millions of miles uh, here in North America and very well known in, in the North American marketplace. And uh, on the engine itself, we change approximately 11 components. So we, uh, we add a few, uh, but on the engine internals, we uh, simply remove the rocker actuators that actuate the mechanical injectors, and we put in our electronic dual fuel injectors, of which I'll, I'll provide a schematic. Uh, the benefit of this is, is as I said, this, this performance benefit, and that the, the engine maintains the performance, maintains the efficiency, and, and for the most part, maintains everything that made it a diesel engine in the first place. So the cylinders, the pistons, everything is the same. Uh, with our system, we also provide a complete proprietary system. So we provide the tank module, the fuel uh, pump, and other apparatus that allow the engine to get very high pressure fuel delivered to it. And importantly, this is only an LNG system. This is not available in, in CNG in North America. Some of the ratings are mentioned at the bottom of the slide there and some sample customers. Uh, once again, another pictogram depicting very much the same thing, but the, uh, the important thing here and the root of the, the system is this injector, and you can see the, the uh, concentric needle system allows us to inject diesel uh, through the same injector as we inject the natural gas. The approximate displacement is about 5% to 95%, but that can vary over the operating cycle. But the, as I mentioned, the principal benefits are same power and torque and similar efficiency. Just going to talk a little bit about the integrated tank and pump because on Monday, Westport uh, put out a news release that uh, even brings us closer to one of our joint venture partners, Cummins Westport, in that what we've done is we've taken the proprietary tank and pump system that we use to produce very, very high pressure fuel for our HPDI system on the 15 liter, and we've adapted it to a to be able to provide low pressure uh, natural gas, which is what the Cummins Westport engine needs, uh, consistently from very cold LNG. 
And the main benefit of this is cold LNG is more dense than what might be referred to sometimes as warm LNG. And uh, it allows you to pack more energy into the, uh, into the fuel tank and therefore potentially do away with the extra fuel tanks you might have required had you needed to put two more, more than one fuel tank on the vehicle. Uh, you can see the, uh, the Peterbilt 386 illustrated by uh, Transport Robert, a fleet in Quebec that operates approximately 70 of these tractors. You can see the LNG fuel tank, just like a comparable diesel fuel tank, sits right behind the, uh, the Smartway fairing on that particular tractor. So for, uh, for someone who doesn't uh, know trucks and is driving by one of these on the side of the road, they wouldn't know that this uh, vehicle was running on anything other than, uh, than diesel and what they're accustomed to. Uh, so, Jim talked a little bit about this at the beginning of his presentation. One of the most important things we do in, in working with customers and trying to determine if, if natural gas first and, and secondly our product, the 15 liter HPDI system is appropriate, is going through a checklist, making sure that uh, you're, you're, using, uh, or you're using your trucks in a way that natural gas could, could potentially provide a benefit because there are many, many operations where natural gas isn't going to fit. But if you start looking down this list and seeing things you do that are similar to what's on this list, then typically there's a way to find natural gas uh, into your business and to return a significant net benefit and a return on the investment. Just going to go through a couple of uh, case studies. Jim Bruce uh, from UPS is going to be talking about his deployment uh, tomorrow, so I won't get into a lot of detail, but uh, this is just uh, their fleet that's running uh, 82 uh, 15 liter products on the Kenworth T800 running between Los Angeles and Salt Lake City, a very long corridor. Of course, this all started with UPS's deployment a number of years ago with some dual fuel tractors in Southern California, but with the emergence of fueling in Salt Lake City and then in Las Vegas, courtesy of Clean Energy, we now have them running this entire corridor, 110,000 pounds uh, running, uh, slip seating these tractors uh, under very arduous conditions. There's some pretty significant climbs along this route, so very, very successful and uh, and they're, they're looking to deploy more tractors now. Uh, taking us up to Canada, um, we talked about the gross weights being uh, a little bit higher in Canada, I think it was mentioned earlier. Uh, Vetter Transport is based in, in uh, British Columbia, Canada. They're the largest fleet in British Columbia. They're a dedicated fleet. They haul milk and sweetener products for the food industry, and they also haul waste and, and wood chips for the forest industry and, and for the local uh, metropolitan uh, region. Uh, they bought 50 Peterbilt 386s and 367s with the, uh, with the Westport HD system. Importantly, they run their trucks typically at between 105 and 140,000 pound gross combination weight, and then uh, a number of the waste haul and wood chip trucks are running significant mountain miles as well, including uh, you know, annual mileage of about 195 to 220,000 miles a year. So they're getting significant net benefit from natural gas, as you can imagine, they're three and a half mile per gallon trucks. So a really great candidate, 16 month payback on these particular products. A lot of their customers were asking them for environmental uh, improvements in, in their operations as well, and this delivered on both counts. So very, very successful deployment. And then a, a number of other uh, deployments uh, illustrated on this chart here. Importantly also, we work very closely with dealerships and fleets in, uh, in training technicians. We've got uh, nearly 500 technicians trained to date now in North America on our system. Uh, we work very closely with the PACAR dealership network, Kenworth and Peterbilt, uh, on getting their dealers uh, set up to be able to support this product. And uh, they're delivering significant fuel savings, not only in North America, but we've got a number of operators in Australia who are also running liquefied natural gas trucks. So I'll just finish, uh, a lot of people ask questions about warranty. And the warranty in our system is, is pretty much what you'd expect from your diesel truck. Two years, 250,000 miles standard warranty with extended coverage available up to five years, 500,000 miles. So with that, I've got an eye test for everybody and I'll, I'll pass it on to the next speaker. Thank you very much.